the oxen and the butchers. Once upon a time, the oxen determined to be revenged upon the butchers for the havoc they wrought in their ranks and plotted to put them to death on a given day. They were all gathered together discussing how best to carry out the plan, and the more violent of them were engaged in sharpening their horns for the fray. When an old ox got up to his feet and said, My brothers, ye have good reason I know to hate these butchers, but at any rate they understand their trade and do what they have to without causing unnecessary pain. But if we kill them, others will have no experience, will get to slaughter us, and by their bungling inflict great suffering upon us. For you may be sure that even though all the butchers perish, mankind will never go without their beef. The Wolf and the Lion A wolf stole a lamb from the flock and was carrying it off to devour it at his leisure when he met a lion. He took his prey away from him and walked off of it. He dared not resist, but when the lion had gone some distance, he said, It is most unjust of you to take what's mine away from me like that. The lion laughed and called out in reply, It was justly yours, no doubt. The gift of friendships, perhaps, eh? The Sheep, the Wolf and the Stag a stag once asked a sheep to lend him a measure of wheat, saying that his friend, the wolf, would be his sultry. The sheep, however, was afraid that they meant to cheat her, so she excused herself, saying, The wolf is in the habit of seizing what he wants and running off with it without paying, and you, too, can run much faster than I. So how shall I be able to come up with either of you when the death falls due? Two blacks do not make a white. The Lion and the Three Bulls Three bulls were grazing in a meadow and were watched by a lion who longed to catch and devour them, but felt that he was no match for the three so long as they kept together, so began by false whispers and malicious hints to foment jealousies and distrust amongst them. This stratagem succeeded so well that ere long the bulls grew cold and unfriendly, finally avoiding each other and, f and fed each one by himself apart. No sooner did the lion see this than he fell upon them one by one and killed them in turn. The quarrels of friends are opportunities of foes. The Horse and His Rider a young man who fancied himself something of a horseman mounted a horse which had not been properly broken in and was exceedingly difficult to control. No sooner did the horse feel his weight on the saddle than he bolted and nothing would stop him. A friend of the riders met him in the road with his headlong career and called out, Where are you off to in such a hurry? To which he, pointing to the horse, replied, I have no idea. Ask him. The Goat and the Vine A goat was straying in a vineyard and began to browse on the tender shoots of a vine which bore several fine bunches of grapes. What have I done to you, said the vine, that you should harm me thus? Isn't there grass enough for you to feed on? All the same, even if you eat up every leaf I have and leave me quite bare, I shall produce wine enough to pour over you when you are led to the altar to be sacrificed. <laughs>